Alpha brain waves. So this is part of the continued study of brain waves, especially as it relates to the peaceful self process, yoga meditation, consciousness, and becoming the peaceful self. What are brain waves? If this is your first video, we'll go through it again. If not, it's a quick recapitulation. The brain emits electrical pulses which are measured per second. And these pulses are measured by an EEG or an electroencephalogram. And as the cycles per second, the CPS, speed up or slow down, the rate of our thoughts likewise speed up or slow down along with variations in our mood. There are five types of brain waves. Beta is the one that we are in when we are most active and our thoughts tend to run at 13 to 30 CPS, our brain waves cycle per second. It's also when we are thinking a lot or engaged in conversation or busy doing our daily task. Alpha, which we're going to be studying in this video, is 8 to 12 CPS, cycle per second. And we're in that state when we're relaxed, dreamy, we're in certain forms of meditation, such as mindfulness meditation, or when we are imagining or visualizing things. Theta is only four to seven cycles per second. And we enter theta when we are drowsy and drifting into sleep and in deeper meditation states. Delta, only three to five cycles per second, is when we are deeply asleep, we are not dreaming or we are in deep meditation. And the most recent brain wave is gamma, and even though we are very active, the brain, 31 to 120 cycles per second, it is a form of hyper learning or creativity that is just simply flowing as if we're in the zone. It's also a brain state we reach when we have high levels of compassion and empathy. So let's look at the benefits of alpha brain waves. They are primarily active during periods of reflection and relaxation. And alpha brain waves help you to relax and unwind, reduce stress, anxiety, fear, and tension, improve your ability to integrate information and learn because you're in that relaxed state where you're no longer stressing about the information, you're just absorbing it. Alpha brain waves help you get into a state of relaxed peak performance, similar to gamma, but without the intensity. They allow you to think outside the box and be more creative to take certain quantum leaps because you're no longer stuck in the beta mode of do this, then this, then this, then this. Instead, you can take those leaps as you relax. It also helps you enhance your immune system because you are de-stressing. It helps you calm and center your emotions so they are no longer as chaotic and helps you also reflect on them as well. It increases your ability to think positively again because you're no longer in that stressed out state. And it helps you to tap into that state of flow where everything comes more naturally without a sense of stress or effort. Ironically, that flow is at its peak, not in this relaxed alpha mode, but in gamma. And it allows you to be more fully present in the moment. So these are some of the benefits of Alpha, which overall help you integrate your mind and body. And so you can see why it's very beneficial to get into Alpha brainwave states. Finally, Alpha brainwaves help you improve your meditation skills. In fact, getting into Alpha is one of the first steps of meditation and many meditation types begin here and then those meditation processes if you continue to follow them will move you into theta delta and even gamma so how do we produce alpha well if we want to activate alpha we can practice deep relaxation exercises yoga nidra at one stage helps you get into alpha yoga nidra nidra is sleep the yoga of sleep which starts out as a deep relaxation exercise. You can practice deep breathing exercises, either by learning to breathe from your diaphragm so you oxygenate your whole body, or learning certain pranayama techniques 
not the kind that energize you, but the kind that balance your nervous system and relax. You can learn to meditate or do yoga. This is a fun little animation I found of somebody meditating on what I'm perceiving to be a yoga mat. <laughs> Obviously, this person is trying to get more into alpha to get the balance. You can use hypnotherapy, which gets you into a bit of an altered state, an alpha state. You can also sit under the sun or out in nature. Why do some people who have very stressful lives love to sit out in the sun, not only for the good prana, vitality that comes from the sun, and from the calming experience of nature, but so that they can relax their minds and get into an alpha state. Also, listening to soothing music or water sounds can move you into an alpha zone. And there are products you can buy that help you get in to this zone through certain kinds of music. You can also do these forms of activity, which are not at all the best choices. You can zone out in front of the television. You can drink alcohol, smoke marijuana, or take medications that calm your nervous system down. And again, these are not the best choices because they can have side effects that uh, keep you in more of an alpha state than you may want after you are done with your consumption of these items. Now it may sound funny to think that we can have too much alpha, <laughs> especially since we just saw those benefits and how relaxing and wonderful it seems it can be to be an alpha. But there is a problem with too much. When you have too much alpha, you may become too spacey and unfocused. You may drift off into daydreams and become distracted when it is not in your best interest to do so, and you may feel tired, listless, unstimulated, even bored. So if you are in this kind of space, it may be because you need to go beta and not alpha, and you can watch that beta video to see what kinds of things you can do to help you shift. Though alpha helps you relax, too much can be a sign that you do not have enough stimulation or extroverted application and embodiment of what you are learning. That's also the case in terms of spiritual practices. Many people can get very unbalanced doing meditation work. In my book on meditation, The Path to Peace, I talked a little bit about the dangers of meditation practice. That sounds funny to a lot of people. How can meditation be so dangerous? It's dangerous if we go to alpha and to theta and we become very ungrounded we do not apply what it is that we're learning. We start doing a spiritual bypass. We think that we're at a certain stage of development that hasn't really been tested out in the world, and so we're not really there. We get more into our imagination and into, in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, what they call fancy, what uh, is also known as glamour in the teachings by Alice Bailey, emotional distortions, believing we're at a certain place spiritually when the truth is we're really not, we're just zoning too much out in alpha and theta. And in yoga terms, we become too tamasic. To remedy this, we need to attempt to get more active beta wave patterns to energize and balance us out. Tamasic is this same state of being listless and passive, unmotivated, bored. You can also have too little alpha brain wave activation going on in your life. And when you have too little alpha brain wave activation, you tend to be unable to relax. Your mind cannot settle down as it is running a mile a minute. Your emotions are more agitated, nervous, and on edge. Many people who start meditating realize that they can't calm down what's known as the monkey mind. That's the thoughts that are racing in too many directions. And this is because you've got too much beta brain wave activation going and you can settle it down through meditation and also through certain techniques that help you activate more alpha that were listed in this video. In yoga terms, you are too rajistic, too active, which is equivalent to being overly active, hyper, and even aggressive. And the key is to activate more alpha, if you have too little of it, through one of the previous suggestions in this video. So this summarizes our very brief exploration into alpha brainwave states. And if you want to know more about who I am and how to reach me, 
Please watch the rest of this video.